Imagine this. You're buying your first ocarina, and you're stuck between a $35 alto C and a $15 soprano C. Clearly, if they're both good instruments, the soprano C is the better deal, right? Wrong. Soprano ocarinas are amazing instruments. They're the smallest and most portable, like, look how tiny that is. Look, like, that's smaller than my that, that's way smaller than my hand. They also have great volume for performing, as they're pretty loud, and they're absolutely essential in any ocarina septet. Thanks, Okabanda. <laughs> However, if it's your very first ocarina, or one of your first ocarinas, you might run into some issues. Those issues being ergonomics, loudness, and squeaking. Let's start with ergonomics. If this is your very first ocarina, you're probably gonna be super excited and you might play for hours and hours and hours on end. For days. Just like how you could be watching my videos for hours if you're subscribed. For extended play and practice sessions, the ergonomics of your instrument are essential. If your hands are uncomfortable, they'll probably hurt after a long period of time. Plastic ocarinas are tiny, which is great for portability, but let's see what that tiny size is like with big hands. Also use those big hands to smash the like button. I'm ridiculous. Why am I like this? <laughs> Why am I such a shill? If you smash the like button without me asking you, then I wouldn't have to be such a shill. <laughs> if your hands are large, soprano ocarinas might be too small to be comfortable to hold at first. As an experienced ocarinist, I have played this exact plastic ocarina for hours on end, and I can handle it because I'm experienced with holding it. However, if your hands are big, you're not going to be comfortable, which might lead to pain in long sessions. If you're a beginner with large hands, these tiny soprano ocarinas might not be the right place to start. If you have small hands, no problem. The next point is loudness. Remember when I said plastic ocarinas have amazing volume for performing? Note that I qualified that sentence with for performing. Soprano ocarinas are loud. Even if you're playing softly and playing low notes, it's still loud because the higher the pitch, the more it pierces and the farther it carries. That's also why higher instruments tend to play melodies, whereas lower instruments tend to play more supporting roles in any musical arrangement. And that's true for ocarina septets as well. That being said, while the loudness can be an amazing benefit performance, it can be way too much when you're practicing. If this is your first and only ocarina, if you're playing in a tight room without sound dampening, you're going to be hearing a lot of this sound. If you're playing outdoors, it won't be that much of an issue, but if you're in a tight room, it's going to be a lot. Loud soprano ocarinas can even be enough to damage your hearing, but that is the case with any instrument. Subscribing, however, does not cause hearing loss. I love my soprano ocarinas, but there's a reason that I generally don't practice with them. I generally practice with alto or bass ocarinas. Unless there's a piece I need to be on soprano ocarina to learn, I'm probably not going to touch it while I'm practicing. To illustrate the difference, I'm going to record a scale and a quick song on a soprano and then an alto. As you can hear, Some. that the soprano ocarina is louder. It might not show up properly after video editing and audio adjustments and whatnot, but I will do my best to properly represent the difference in volume. Going back to loudness and potential hearing damage, that brings us to the next point. Squeaking. Without proper breath control, soprano ocarinas have a very high risk 
of squeaking. This is very rare if you're an experienced ocarina player. In fact, I haven't squeaked my soprano ocarina in probably seven or eight years, but that's also when I bought my first soprano ocarina. That being said, if this is your first ocarina and you are not comfortable with breath control on a soprano, there's a very high risk that you will cause your instrument to squeak, which is even louder than the normal instrument itself. It's a very high, very loud, very unexpected pitch that, quite frankly, hurts. This is the thing on a soprano ocarina that is the actual major risk of hearing damage. Whereas the general loudness, that can be easily alleviated with sound dampening or playing outdoors. Whereas in general, your risk of hearing damage from a typical play session of a soprano ocarina is very low, and it varies based off of your environment, the level of sound dampening, and the loudness of the ocarina itself. While squeaking is very easy to overcome and doesn't take that much practice to be accustomed to playing around or never playing at all, it's still a risk. And because it's a risk to your actual health and safety, I cannot recommend Soprano Ocarina as someone's very first ocarina. What would I actually recommend to most prospective ocarina players? As I've said in my video titled, The Best Starter Ocarina, I recommend the Alto C, specifically the Knight by Noble. Amazon link in the description. Alto Cs have the same range as ocarinas from the Zelda games. They're also the perfect size for almost everyone's hands. They're not too tight, it's not too wide, and they're not too heavy. If you were to buy, for example, a bass ocarina, those could weigh multiple pounds, whereas this, you're probably not gonna get tired or exhausted or in pain from holding it. My camera overheated, oops. <laughs> Back to where we were. Last, Alto Cs have the most buying options, which means you have the greatest selection. Do keep in mind that a lot of the obvious selection, especially on sites like Amazon, it's not gonna be very good. Make sure you're buying from a trusted vendor or someone you trust recommending the instrument to you. Like I said, I do have a video on the starter ocarina I recommend most, which is the Knight by Noble, and I got a link in the description below for that. Or just check STL, Songbird, Noble, Imperial City, or another trusted vendor. There are far more trusted vendors and makers, but I cannot list them all in one video. So to conclude, soprano ocarinas are amazing instruments, but they're not ideal for beginners. Between the ergonomics, the loudness, the risk of squeaking and hearing damage, you're better off starting with an alto C. If you really want a Soprano Ocarina, I could recommend it as your second or third instrument in your collection. Because once you're accustomed to playing ocarinas, it's a much smaller adjustment going from one range to another. But in the meantime, start with a reliable Alto C like the Knight by Noble and get tootin'. Thanks for watching, and remember to like, comment, and subscribe. See you next time. Bye bye!